this is day one of our 21 day financial fast and uh, today was pretty good for me I uh, went and got groceries yesterday even though I'm out of town uh, studying uh, working on my D men staying in a hotel room but I went to the grocery store yesterday and got grocery and I didn't buy anything today I just um, ate the salad and the uh, various other vegetables and things that I had got yesterday at the grocery I had that for lunch and dinner probably gonna try to do the same thing tomorrow that's really hard for me because there's a cheesecake factory about 10 minutes from where I am right now and a PF Chang and all the restaurants that I love to eat at that I'm very excited about this fast and about what I believe God is going to do for us in the midst of it. I want to read a passage of scripture um, for you to meditate on, even as I've been meditating on it, and then uh, let's see what God has to say. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say about this scripture. Deuteronomy 8 says, All the commands that I am commanding you today, you shall be careful to do, that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which you, the Lord swore, swore to give to your forefathers. You shall remember all the way which the Lord your God has led you in the wilderness these forty years, that he might humble you in testing you to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. He humbled you and let you be hungry, and fed you with manna which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you understand that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by everything that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Your clothing did not wear out on you, nor did your foot swell these forty years. Thus you are to know in your heart that the Lord your God was disciplining you, just as a man disciplines his son. Therefore, you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks, of waters, of fountains and springs, flowing forth in valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land where you will eat food without scarcity, in which you will not lack anything. That's enough. That's Deuteronomy 8, verses uh, 1 through 9. The thing that strikes me, is scripture says that uh, our wilderness experience is part of God's character development for us, is part of God's way of disciplining us so that he can prepare us for the land that he has prepared for us. I see fasting, and this fast in particular, as a way that we can join in and voluntarily uh, apply the discipline of fasting so that we can do what the scripture says we ought to do, and that is we should never forget who our source is, where our blessings come from. Our source is not our job. Our source is not our spouse. Our source is not our bank account. God is our source, and he's the one that gives us the ability to prosper, the ability not only to have stuff, but the ability to have impact, whether that be in school, on our job, in our families, in the ministry, God wants us to be all that he's called us to be. So this is day one, and it went well for me, and I hope it went well for you. God bless you.